In this video I'm gonna show you four awesome WordPress plugins you probably wish you knew before. All those plugins are free and they are really easy to use. So let's dive in with the first plugin and it's called Simple History Track Log and Audit WordPress Changes. After installing the plugin you'll see there is a Simple History menu on the left. First go to the settings and now you can customize whether to show the history on the dashboard or in the admin bar. Admin bar is this one here. You'll see all the latest history. And if you go to the dashboard, you'll see this one here. If for some reason you don't, then take a look at the screen options and see whether this simple history is checked here. You can drag and drop it as you like. Now what else can you see here? History menu position, top of main menu, bottom of main menu, inside dashboard, menu items, or inside tool menu item. Currently it is located here, but if you select inside dashboard menu item and save changes, you'll see it's removed here. And now if you would like to access the settings, you have to go here and change it accordingly. I'm gonna leave it inside top main menu. Next, you can select number of items per page on the dashboard. You can clear the log. You can activate or deactivate the detective mode. By default, it's deactivated. And it's because when enabled, the detective mode captures in-depth data for each event. And therefore, you have to note that enabling this feature may increase the volume of log data. But if you want to test it out, then save it here. Then activate it here. Save changes. And now whatever is done on your WordPress site, it's logged here. As you see, latest log it says I modified the settings using the plugin Simple History. I have updated the post. What else can I see? I have installed the plugin, updated settings, updated page. It even displays what did I change here. You'll see it here. But just to test it out, let's go to the products. I'm going to open up a product. For example, this product here. Let's open up a variation and let's change the price from 120 to 125. Save changes, update. And now up here, it says that Yannick updated a product called Box Stuff. When I click here, it will open up the detailed info page here. If I go and add a media file, for example, let's upload this image. Now, when I open up the history, it says uploaded attachment. When I go to the event log, it even displays me the image. So yeah, if you're a site manager and you have more than one person handling the site, then sometimes it's useful to monitor what's happening on your site. And this is where the simple history plugin comes to help. Next plugin I would like to show you is called Instant Images, one-click image uploads. So what does it do for us? When I go to the settings, then after installing the plugin, there is an Instant Images menu here. I can choose the maximum image upload height, default provider, whether it's Unsplash, Openverse, Pixabay, Pixels or Giphy. I can automatically add image attribution as captions when uploading images and I can remove the instant images tab in the media modal. If you would like to provide your own API keys then you can do it here although the version I show you at the moment doesn't need any API keys. If you need to add additional image sizes then you need to upgrade to the pro version and down below some change log information. And yeah. There's nothing else to it. So let's go to the post page or whatever it is. I'm going to add an image, media library. And now there's search images and instant images tabs. If I open up the instant images, I can select Unsplash, Openverse, Pixabay, Pexels, or Giphy. Let's open up the Unsplash and let's search for an image. For example, laptop. I can change order, orientation, I need only landscape images and some color options here. Let's scroll down and see which one do I like the most. Well, this one here. After clicking on the image, you'll see it has been downloaded to my library. Now I can select it and it's here. There is an alternative text, you can change it. Next I'm gonna Enlarge it on click, 
save open up the post and there you go with a couple of clicks I have downloaded a free stock photo as you see there is also a search images option once again you can filter them by color or by orientation use the search and you're good to go okay this was the second plugin I wanted to show you third one is called view transitions it's a fairly new plugin but it's already getting attention from lots of users currently it already has more than 2000 active installations when I took a look at it a week ago it was approximately 1000 nevertheless let's go to the dashboard after installing the plugin go to the settings and reading and now you'll see there is a view transitions choose a default animation currently it's fade what does it do as you see when I browse through the site this fade transition has been applied if I choose for example slide let's refresh the page open up other product and now you'll see there is a slide transition works really smoothly looks really nice what else you can do here as far as I have used this plugin I haven't changed any settings here but if it doesn't work out for you then you have to check whether the header selector main selector post title selector and thumbnail selectors are the ones your team is using you can also activate it for WordPress admin area and now you'll see the same fade transition is used here and yeah there's nothing else to it a small and nifty plugin which makes your site browsing looks much nicer although there is a caution for you don't overdo it for example for me this slide effect gets annoying after a while I like the fade transition more so let's do that and now it's fading again okay last one I would like to introduce today is called admin and site enhancements ASE if you go to the tools and enhancements then there it is after you install the plugin by default every setting is deactivated you can activate the ones you like they are grouped by categories content management admin interface and so on I'm not gonna go through all the settings because it would take a lot of time I'm gonna just point out some of those for example media replacement what will it do for you is if it's activated and you go to the media library then you'll see replace link here open it up and now you'll see replace media if you select the new media then the current file this one here will be replaced with an uploaded file while retaining the current id publish date and file name and therefore no existing links will break you can activate content order for example for pages what will it do for me is when i go to the pages you'll see now there is another menu of order and now i can just reorder the pages here you can activate svg uploads you can open all external links in new tab you can auto publish posts under the admin interface you can clean up admin bar that is remove various elements from the admin bar just select what would you like to remove for example wordpress logo updates counter comments counter re let's remove howdy when i save it you'll see now it's much cleaner you can hide admin notices from the wordpress and third-party plugins they will be moved into the separate panel you can hide the admin bar you can set this menu to be wider for example let's make it 300 pixels you'll see now it's much wider if you activate admin menu organizer then under the settings you'll see admin menu here and now you can reorder all your menus as you like if you check hide until toggled for example let's activate it for blocksy and simple history when i save the changes and refresh the page you'll see two of those are missing but if i click on show all then these are back again when i select show less then it's hidden you can activate various admin user interface enhancements that is display active plugins first or enable infinite scrolling for media library you can add your own custom admin footer text here some login logout options change login url login type 
you can display your site icon on the login page, enable login dynamic menus, display last login column and some redirection options. You can add custom code to the admin or front end. And if you're using Google Analytics or any other tracking codes, then you can add head, body and footer codes here. Also, this plugin allows you to manage ads txt and app ads txt files. If you need to validate them, then this feature is useful. Under the disable components, you can disable Gutenberg, WordPress comments, REST API feeds, disable all updates, disable auto archives and disable smaller components. Once again, you can choose them here. Under the security, you can limit login attempts obfuscate author slugs or emails and disable XML RPC. Some optimization options, image upload control, revisions control, heartbeat control, and under the utilities, some other options for you. As I mentioned, it's a lot to cover in this short overview video, so I'm not gonna go through everything, but this plugin is basically a Swiss knife tool for your WordPress site. And as you see, currently it has more than 200,000 active installations and mostly five-star reviews. Awesome stuff. So there you go. As I promised, four plugins that are free and easy to use. Now it's time for you to go and try them out. But I have also made another video about top five new WooCommerce plugins for you to try. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.